Hey YouTube, this is very informal, but I wanted to make a video about this subject because it's something that has really been bothering me. So last night I went to a Florence, Alabama City Council meeting regarding a project that is going on in Florence called Room at the Table. So what Room at the Table does is they feed people every night a nightly meal and they have it all packed up and done by about seven o'clock. So people in the community walk to this um, place. So they were having it at a church downtown and they decided, you know, that the location wasn't gonna be a forever location. It was a temporary location. So they went and they um, leased a building. They moved from downtown Florence to Seven Points. So I actually live in Seven Points. I live roughly half a mile from the proposed new location. So they leased this building and they went to get the power turned on. And when they turned the power on, or they went to get the power turned on and the power company was like, I'm not gonna turn the power on. So the um, city was obviously in cahoots, I guess, I don't know. Um, it's speculated that this was decided long before um, room at the table was even um, to this point. But basically what happened was the zoning guy emailed the room at the table um, lead on her personal cell phone to tell her that she couldn't do room at the table in seven points and that the, the he said it wouldn't work anywhere in Florence. So what this meant to me was basically, we don't want you here because of who you serve and because of what you do. So the argument against room at the table, I guess, is that they are bringing in homeless people, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But so basically, I work at room in the inn. Room in the inn is for homeless people. Room at the table is for literally everyone. I am 25 years old, I live alone. It would be lovely to have a place half a mile from my house where I could go eat with somebody other than my dogs. So I'm really, really frustrated and I don't wanna be overly emotional about this, but at the same time, I feel like at this, this is politically motivated and business motivated because as someone said at the meeting last night, there are businesses in Seven Points that, like McDonald's, there was a Taco Bell, there's a Dollar Tree, there are restaurants, there are is a tattoo parlor, there's a check-and-go place, like a place to get money for poor people to exploit them. Um, there is a, um, there's a couple of different shops, there's a little antique shop that's really cute, but none of those people had a problem except for one oh my god sugar bakers person came up there and gave his spiel about how um someone asked him for two dollars so he was triggered and basically said that he didn't want um to have room at the table there <sighs> it's really frustrating but so just going on about um what was said at the meeting there were a pair of lawyers who got up there and spoke about how they support room at the table they serve there and they proposed the legal argument was that it was clearly in the definition of the use of the building so i don't understand how that's going to go um they have appealed the decision i believe and it's going to have to go to a further board hearing um but right now we're just we can't feed people um Someone at the meeting was like, 5,000 meals haven't been served because you guys shut us down. So 5,000 times someone was going to get to go eat and they didn't get to go. Um, and I don't know if you've ever been hungry, but it's not a very good feeling. You can't do the things you're supposed to do if you're hungry. You can't go to work and be effective at your job if you're hungry. You can't go to school and learn if you're hungry because you're too busy being focused on that. So it's very, very frustrating as a community member to see something like this going on in Florence because I do believe that it was all basically decided before the meeting even took place. Um, we saw people in the community speak for several hours and the vote was basically almost unanimous. Only one decent human being had enough sense to see the actual um, the actual things that were going on and he voted in, in favor of Room at the Table, but four people on the board voted um, as opposed to this um, thing. So what was happening was they were they were trying to see if they were going to give special permission to use the building for 
room at the table, but the special permission wasn't really needed because they already, based on the definition of what the building was for, they are, it already covered what they were going to do there. It was an event space and room at the table every night is a nightly event. So personally, I don't think we would be having this issue if it were some swanky business and they were in there giving the city of Florence tax money. But because we are serving poor people and underserved people, um, apparently it's an issue. And they don't necessarily want to look at homelessness. They don't want to look at the poor people in the community. But for me, I live half a mile from there and I'm all for it. I will go down there every night and do whatever I need to do. If people don't, you know, if people need help, I'll go down there and talk to them. But what is the issue here that I guess my biggest concern is that this, the people who live in this city are all here telling you, we want this, we need this, this is very important to us. And the people who are elected and the people who are um, running our small government are telling us you can't have it. So what does that say about Florence if we are not willing to, you know, just work on this issue together? They're basically saying we don't want to serve the underserved. We just want to not look at them. And if possible, maybe just let them go hungry because, you know, it's been going on like that for, I don't know, it, the entire existence of this small town. And because you guys want to do something a little different, we're not going to let you because that's not what Seven Points is for. Seven Points has nothing in it. Seven Points is a small, small subset of Florence in general. I drive by Seven Points almost every single day. There, I can count on my hand the businesses that I've even walked inside, and I'm not degrading Seven Points businesses. I'm just saying this is not like some gigantic um, business district that we're going to ruin by serving a meal every day for a couple of hours. So, I mean, you can see why I don't know. I guess I'm just frustrated. I don't know. But I don't know. at the end of the day, I really think that this is an issue that is more of um, politically and money motivated. And I think that the people in power really need to check themselves. And I don't know who's paying them or what's going on with the city. But I do personally, personally believe that this is ridiculous. Um, the Florence police chief got up and read numbers about how the calls to the um, specific location had increased from, um, I want to say around 12 to around 55. And I was like, yeah, because we have like way more people coming there every single night. Anyone can manipulate numbers to tell whatever narrative they want to tell. So I feel like him getting up there and saying that he's just giving the numbers was really like prompted by something else because why else would you get up there and say all of that? So it just caused concern for what is going on in this area. Also addressing the concerns that um, homeless people are scary. I run downtown almost every other night like I jog and it never bothers me. I don't see an issue with it. Yeah, they're uncomfortable to look at sometimes. I'm sorry, but when you see someone who carries all of their belongings on their back, yeah, it might be a little uncomfortable for you to look at. But instead of trying to see how we can get these people away from Florence, why don't you figure out how to help them? Because one of the people that I served at Room in the Inn, he has his own apartment now. He was in a bad place in his life and he didn't have the resources that we might necessarily have because I'm gonna tell you, if I lost everything today, I wouldn't be homeless because I have family. Everybody doesn't have family. You know what I mean? So there's something to be said for that and you don't think that you could be in that situation, but it doesn't, you're not, you're not, exempt from um being out in the cold and it is freaking cold out there i when i serve at room in the room in the inn i see people constantly coming in with layers and layers of clothing on because they don't know if they're going to get a bed so the way that it works for us is we don't have a we don't have a church big enough every single night to support all of our guests. So the other night we had 12 beds and and i think we had to send 17 people back out into the cold so you're getting a very small amount of churches participating in this. 
it's just very difficult to see people trying to make a difference, people trying to do the right thing, people who poured their life into this cause, their resources, their time, their money, all their emotional energy, their physical energy into such an important thing, and then see the city of Florence basically be like, sorry, can't do it here, do it somewhere else. And the, the point that was brought up in the meeting was if we don't do it now, when? And if we don't do it here, where? Um, yeah, so basically they're like, don't do it here. Just do it somewhere else. Just go away. Like, no, we're not going to go away. Like, we here. This is, this is, this is the thing. Like, we've, we've invested a lot of time into this. And personally, I don't even work at room at the table. I work, I volunteer at room in the inn sporadically. Maybe, I've maybe volunteered there, um, 10 to 12 times over this winter. And it is personally changed my life for the better. I feel like a more well-rounded person because I've heard these stories and I feel like I have a better understanding because I didn't understand homelessness. I thought they were all, I literally thought they were all lazy and I was like, this is such an uninformed view and I'm so angry with myself for thinking that but that was a year ago you know and if you don't educate people and if you don't tell people what is going on um how will they necessarily understand it so I thought that homeless people were lazy um they didn't want to work they just wanted to panhandle and beg everyone and then you know what I learned homeless people have all kinds of different reasons for being homeless and it's rarely the fact that they're lazy um it's extremely difficult to carry all of your personal belongings on on your back every single day try to find food try to find shelter try to find a place where you won't be shunned um try to make it to point a to point b on foot um so there's a lot of factors that go into the fact that you could become homeless and laziness is very rarely one of the causes but i mean i just want to summarize that i do personally feel like this whole thing could have been avoided if the city would just mind their own business but that seems to not be the basically they don't want they don't want something here that is not giving them tax revenue. They don't want something here that is going to expose, um, you know, poor people to other citizens. God forbid they have to look at poor people. Um, but personally, I feel like I, I don't want to live in a city necessarily where we don't want to serve the people who need our help. And I mean, I, I'm just a 25 year old girl. I don't know, but at the same time, I feel like I'm a UNA grad. I, run a business in Florence. I pay taxes here. I have an extremely, um, you know, close friend group, cl close family here, and we're all in support of Room at the Table, so we just don't understand why it's an issue. So yeah, thanks for listening to my spiel.